Hi, so what I have in front of you are two different heaters. The one on the left is the Lasco Tower Ceramic Heater, and the one on the right is the Comfort Zone Quartz Radiant Heater. One is the clear winner, which is actually the ceramic heater, and I'll go through the reasons why. Overall, from just safety, from uh, effectiveness, from the warmth, and also from the cost perspective, both from operating it and buying it. So let me go ahead and run through some of those. So let me go ahead and turn on the radiant heater now. And I call this heater the gigantic toaster. So, so I think it's self-explanatory why it's the gigantic toaster. So I just turned it on to low. And you can see there, there's like a heating element that's just gonna heat up. There's actually two heating elements there. And in the back is the reflector that's supposed to reflect back the heat. There's also a fan that blows out here. And you could just tell how loud the fan is. Um, and just how long it takes to heat up. So one of the things about the ceramic heater is it's almost instantaneous when the heat coming out. Whereas this radiant heater, it does take about 10 minutes to actually get warm. So that's one thing about it. But also, you know, this thing is not really safe to the touch. I mean, it, it doesn't heat up that much, but when it does heat up, it's not like you could touch it without, you know, feeling a you know, burning type of sensation. And it's pretty obvious why. Just because, uh, <laughs> you know, I joke around that it's a gigantic toaster. Well, in fact, that is actually what it is. So um, you can see it's heated up and that's really what it's gonna be like. And even at the low, you could kind of sense the heat at around, you know, two, three feet. But when you're about four feet beyond, you can't really feel the heat all that much. All right, so that's the low. I'm gonna turn it on to the high setting. So you, you can see there's a thermostat in different temperatures. So I am at three quarters of the way up and now I just turned it high. And the high is, you know, similar, you know, but it is almost about double the um, kind of heat level or the different brightness that you could see. So this is at the high level. Now, you know, in all honesty, when you look at that, does that really look safe? I mean, it, <laughs> you know, even though I, I keep on joking that it's a toaster, the reason why I say that it's a giant toaster, it's, um, you know, it feels exactly like that. And, and it is something that feels like, you know, it, it will burn you or something. So, um, you know, just, just zooming back, you know, giving you a better look at it. Um, and even when it does have tip protection, which, which it does. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that. So let me just take this out of the way and tip it over. You know, ev even if it has tip protection, you see it takes a while to actually to, you know, to, to actually have the heat, you know, go off. So it's, if, if there's, you know, paper or something that's flammable or a rug, it's, it's going to burn it, you know, even with the tip protection. This Lasco ceramic also has tip protection, but it doesn't heat up or it doesn't have, um, you, it's not a fire hazard. So um, I also have a cup in the bottom here, and that gives you a point of reference of how big these things are. So they're actually very compact. Uh, that, that is your typical mug. So the Lasco right here is 22 inches tall and five and a half inches wide. And the comfort zone is 23 inches tall and 11 and a half inches wide. So it's almost a foot wide. So they both offer the same sort of radiant heat, but one is a little bit more streamlined, slimmer, and actually more stylish and takes up less room than uh, that particular one right there. Um, so, all right, let me go ahead and uh, show you the Lasco uh, in operation. Now, I am gonna turn on the Lasco here. And the Lasco right there, um, now this particular one does oscillate. It also has a more fine-tuned temperatures you know, so, so you could actually have a particular temperature here. Um, and it also does oscillate. So you could see it's going 45 degrees to the left and then rotating 45 degrees to the right. And what, 
the best way to describe the heat that comes out of this is um, it's kind of like the heat that comes out of register from the wall or from, from your floor. So for those who don't know, a register is the rectangular metal grill uh, where your central heat comes out of. So if you have a boiler in your basement or if you just have forced hot air, this is what it feels like. The, it basically feels like the forced hot air coming out of that grill. Um, now the grill itself is a little bit deceptive. The heating element is actually probably about 8 inches by 3 inches. But the warm air that comes out is about the same as you would if you had a forced hot air or boiler in your basement and a, I want to say a 5 inch or 6 inch by 1 foot register. So that's how I would compare the heat that comes out of this. You could tell this is a lot safer. So it's a no-brainer if you had pets or if you had kids, you know, there is no burn hazard or safety hazard with this. This also has the turn, uh, auto shut off. So if I tilt this, you see it shuts off. Tilt it. And let me turn it back on here. So it does have three settings. And I gotta turn back the oscillation. Now, the other thing I want to mention about this is that this was also cheaper. So um, I bought that one particular one at Home Depot for 80 bucks. So so the comfort zone here was for 80 bucks, whereas the one here I bought at Costco's for 50 bucks. And they actually have the same sort of heat that comes out of it, um, except that this particular one is actually cheaper to operate and cheaper price to buy up front. So just keep that in mind. Um, I want to say, you know, safety standpoint, hands down, it's the Lasco. I actually can't think of a good reason you would buy a radiant heat uh, quartz uh, heater uh, for those reasons. And let me just go ahead, you know, and, and zoom into this. You know, so, so that's really, <laughs> you know, how it's described. Um, I, when I was at Home Depot, this is all they had, which is why I bought it. Um, but I wouldn't, and, and then I went into uh, Costco's, and there were, you know, a couple of these. I, I will have the links in the description area for this particular one uh, on the Costco site. Um, they are sold also on other sites, but Costco's was the cheapest. Other sites sell it for about 75 bucks. Uh, Costco's had it for 50 and you know just putting this side by side here you can see the Lasco um, this also comes with a remote control with every single button that is on the control panel on the front um, you'll notice that when I set the temperature that it actually gives you the temperature of the room also. So that's the setting that I have it set at, but once it stops blinking, it'll take the temperature of the room and it'll tell you what the temperature of the room is. So I'll try to make that more obvious by setting this to 72. Um, now both of these have its own limitations. So the limitations is that it is really for an enclosed room where you close the door. So it's for a small bedroom up to a medium-sized bedroom. When I say medium-sized bedroom, maybe a, you know, 15 feet by, you know, 10 feet. But it would be a little bit closer to um, may maybe what you have to heat up, usually uh, near the bed. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, this particular Alaska one, the, the heat feels a little bit less dry. Whereas, obviously, this giant toaster, it just feels uh, way too dry. It, it feels dry, uh, you know, so uh, just keep that in mind. Um, this one is easy to store. Both of them are very light. Both of them are less than, feels like less than five pounds, maybe even less than four pounds. So, um, other than that, uh, not too much else to say. 
I, I think that's really it. I really like this particular one. It's a great buy. Uh, my advice is stay away from these quartz radiant heaters. Um, and that's really it. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, please support this channel and subscribe. Uh, you know, small little, you, uh, small time YouTubers uh, really do struggle when they make these videos. Um, anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps and uh, have a great day.